Hola folks, I'm Jason Cacho with the Barry News Group and this is Gamester, the most enthusiastic video game show on the internet. Thanks for supporting us again and this week we're back to our regular review schedule. We'll be doing one to two reviews a week for the rest of the year, time and sanity permitting. There are a lot of games this, uh, this fall and winter and I'm going to go insane reviewing them. There are so much I cry at night. I go home and I literally just cry. Today I'll be talking about El Shaddai, The Ascension of the Metatron. It's for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It's published and developed by Ignition Entertainment and has some former Clover members behind it. And that's a good and bad thing. Clover makes really good games. They were the team behind Okami, God Hand, Beautiful Joe. The good thing is that they're good, the games will be really well made. The bad thing is that they're really weird. Even by Japanese standards, I'm talking about hentai, dancing squids, Japanese game shows. These people make really weird games and El Shaddai is no exception. Part of the reason that El Shaddai is so weird is that it's based on Apocrypha, more specifically the Book of Enoch. In the game you play as Enoch, a guy who ascends into heaven and is the scribe for the Lord, which is a weird, it's a good gig I guess. And eventually you're tasked with hunting down these fallen angels who kind of get obsessed with humans that they are observing and they end up going down there and knocking boots and, and it's a no-no in heaven. It's almost like True Blood on crack. Visually, the game is gorgeous. You can totally tell the Okami art style in places, along with a lot of variations like a futuristic city and hell. The problem is the team spent so much time on the art style that they actually forgot about the level design. It's simple to the point of boring. It's like eating a stale cracker. You run up a linear path and you come to a fork in the road, but the problem is it doesn't matter. You can move left or right, but you end up in the same place. It's lazy level design and I don't like it. The other problem with the game is the jumping obstacles. There are so much visual crud on the screen that it's distracting and it's hard to judge the jumps from platform to platform. Also, the camera doesn't help in places. It's another case of style over substance. The team worked so hard on the visuals that they didn't think about its effect on the gameplay. It made it actually impractical to jump in certain places. It made the game harder than it should be. But there's some things I liked about El Shaddai. First off, there's the combat, which is more creative than usual. You don't have to button mash like you would in God of War or Bayonetta. You actually have to strategize how you want to take out your opponents. That's because the game has a rock, scissor, paper system where you have to steal a weapon and figure out which order you have to defeat the enemies. The other part of the game I liked is the plot. Well, not really the plot, it's more of the way it unfolds. It's not, doesn't follow your normal video game tropes. In essence, El Shaddai is like high-end couture. It's beautiful and very high-minded, but not very practical. I mean, you wouldn't go out every day wearing a swan outfit. In the end, I'd give this game two out of four stars. Next week, we'll be reviewing Days X, if that happens to pop in my mailbox sometime and we'll be giving away some El Shaddai postcards. If you happen to comment or say anything, basically send me cat pictures on my Twitter or Facebook feed. I'm Jason Cacho with the Barry News Group and attack me if you dare, I will crush you.